Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, it's me, Devin Stain. This is my first video where I actually speak. Uh, I might not sound the way you thought I would, but I don't care. <laughs> Today, I'm gonna show you how to make basic platformer movement or basic platformer functioning in Game Maker Studio 2 using GML. So, first, we wanna create a sprite. Just name it to SPR underscore player. Just edit the image uh, for now. Use control and the scroll wheel to zoom in and out. Just make it blue or something. Remember to change the origin to middle center. Now duplicate that and open it up. Rename it from SPR player to SPR solid. Edit the image and just set it to like a a a, a dark gray or something and just make sure everything's good like the origin point now bef now let's open up our room just make sure everything's okay i'm gonna change the resolution to 1280 by 720 that gives us the standard hd resolution that we're looking for you could do 640 by 360 that's a good way to do things you know what in second thought i'm gonna do that 640 by 360 and that's basically just half so it'll still give you the HD uh, look that you need now I'll go to objects create object name it obj underscore player assign the player sprite to it and create another object and just call it uh, whoops just call it obj solid give it the solid now go to your player add an event add a create event uh, just give it a description like declaring variables and just get rid of all the other comments N make a variable called vspeed make a variable called h speed and make a variable called gravity make sure they all have underscores else it won't work because v speed h speed and gravity are all built in variables in game maker okay next we want to add our step event and here we can get into the good stuff i'm just gonna f make my thing full screen so you can see it better so here just say something like main logic and in brackets player movement and so what we have to do now is we have to say if keyboard check vk well we're gonna do w a s and d or just w or a and d so you wanna say odd d make sure you have all the right brackets and stuff now open up some brackets h speed is equal to 5 so we're gonna cause since everything starts in the top left kind of like java if you make it 5 it will be going right if you make it negative 5 it will be going left else if keyboard check odd uh, whoops a so if we're pressing the a key whoops if we're pressing the a key open up some brackets h speed is equal to negative 5 else if we're not pressing anything then just set h speed whoops equal to 0 so that's basic play movement so what you all what we want to do is we want to first test that to see work so just say s or x plus equals h speed as you can see x turns green that's because it's a built-in variable inside of game maker so now what we want to do is we want to bring up the resource tree and we want to bring in our solid so just hold alt and just make just make a basic just make one and then just drag it out so we have a floor so we can stand on 
and just drag the player a bit above. Now if we run it and we use A and D you can see that our player moves. I don't like the frame rate so I'm gonna go into game options game frames per second 60 apply ok press F5 to run as you can see it goes much smoother well, on my screen because currently I'm recording so everything is going slow but it goes much smoother go back into your workspace and go back to the event now go to your room drag in a solid n next to your player so we can do some collision testing so if we run the game now you can see that we currently go right through and that's not what we want so what we do is we say if place meeting x plus h speed y obj solid then we want to set h speed equal to zero it's not as simple as that because we're saying x plus h speed what if your h speed turns out to be something like 11 then you'll let me just open up paint here so here's our player and here's the the wall uh, if our h speed is too high and we go to collide it's gonna stop somewhere there because we're saying plus h speed we want it to always like sorry that's a terrible example my terrible cutting skills we want it to always directly touch our collision object so here we say while uh, not place meeting x plus sun h speed y obj whoops solid then what do we want to do we want to say x plus equals sun h speed so in theory this should fix any collision problem so if we run the game now we run it it didn't work why did it not work uh, sorry this is my first time doing game maker in quite a bit so I don't know why it's not working this is very odd us it should work let me just see uh, what happens as the code goes so it doesn't okay hold on this shouldn't matter but let's let's move each speed down and that worked somehow no okay listen I know why it worked because we were first adding then we were checking that's not what we want we want to check first then add so as you can see it's working pretty well now sorry about that little mishap uh, the language of GML is actually a procedural a structural language and I'm used to Java which is object oriented so I'm not used to being as curious or ca cautious about where things are located but you can see that when we run it we don't have any gravity like gravity is not really enabled so what we want to do is we want to say we want to go under now just add a comment this is horiz horizontal collision now let's get on to vertical collision so uh, we can we can actually legitimately copy and paste but I'm not going to do that I despise copying and pasting vertical collision if place meeting uh, x y plus h speed 
OBJ solid. And we can pretty much just do the exact same. Wild is not a place meeting. Wild is not a collision. Whoops. Uh, X, Y plus sun. Oh, that would have been a big mistake. No, we don't use H speed, we use V speed. Here. V speed. Uh, and OBJ. Solid. I can't type today. Someone help me. Uh, yep, okay. Um, and then we can say y plus equals sine v speed. And then we just set v speed equal to zero. And then underneath we just say y plus equals v speed. Now I haven't done this in a long time, so I might be wrong. But as you can see, okay, we don't fall. Why don't we fall? Okay, hold on. So that that's that's another thing. Um, uh, that's very, very damn odd. We did it after in the last one, and it worked. What if we do it before? Oh no, wait, that. This shouldn't work. Sorry, like I said, I'm very rusty with Game Maker and the language, so I don't know. Yeah, it's not working. Oh well, let's just get on to the next part. This should fix it. If there is not a place meeting between x, y plus 1 uh, OBJ solid then V speed uh, V speed plus equals gravity I believe else we can check if keyboard check VK space then we want to set v speed equal to negative 7 let's just say yeah in theory this should work but i'm not too confident i'm really 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 rusty i've been focusing more on unity yeah it's it doesn't seem to be working um <laughs> I wonder why. I really wonder why. Because we haven't given gravity a value. Just set that to like something like 0 0.3. It wasn't... I'm, I'm worried that this isn't going to work. There we go boys. We have jumping. And we have gravity. The reason it wasn't working is because we didn't give gravity a value. And gravity is basically our main source for our V speed. So there you go, this is how you make basic platforming physics in uh, Game Maker Studio 2 using the GML language. If you use drag and drop, I'm sorry. I really wish that you would start learning GML because you can do so much more. Anyway guys, I really do hope that you enjoyed my video. But before I end it, let's let's go over the code one more time. If we're pressing D, we want to go right by, uh, by setting h speed equal to 5 if we're pressing a negative 5 because we're going left if we're not pressing any keys h speed will be equal to 0 because if we don't do that then our our sorry I'm I'm kinda clueless our cube will keep going when we don't want it to and here we check if there's not a place meeting uh, between uh, y this object and y pl at y plus 1 we just want to be extra careful so we don't get any clipping errors and obj solid then we want to say v speed plus equals gravity uh, which basically uh, makes up our whole v speed else if we are touching the solid 
at y plus 1. Then we're checking if we press space and if we are, then v speed is equal to negative 7. So here we can just comment jumping. Just so that when we come and look at back at this in the future, we'll n see and remember what all this does. Horizontal collision. If there is a place meeting, we want to set h speed equal to zero. Now that's not how the co the compiler reads. It reads from top to bottom, so it goes. If there is a collision, and then it uh, it, it can't do anything, then it checks. While there's not a pl um, place meeting be between x plus sine h speed, y and obj solid, then x plus equals sine h speed, and then we set h speed e equal to zero if we are touching anything. And then we just say x plus equals h speed, else obviously nothing will happen. Vertical collision, we do the exact same thing except with the v speed and the y axis. And all this code, all these, this is simple code, this is really simple code. It's only 45 lines of code, but it can do this. Now, isn't that just amazing? The power of Game Maker really is amazing. But if you really want to get into heavy, Heavy good 2D development. I suggest Unity, Unity 3D, Unity. You can do a lot of things with Unity and a lot of cool things with Unity as well. Uh, I will be making quite a few tutorials on Unity. Uh, I have my code right here. I uh, would, I uh, think you saw that, but I don't know. But you can pretty much do the same things. Uh, Game Maker does run a bit smoother. I have to say that, but if I had to go for my favorite, I'd pick Unity because Unity allows for more, basically. Unity bit does have better th 2D coverage though, but Ga Game Maker uses GML, which is its language on its own. And the downside of using GML is, if you know GML and you like apply for a job or something, you'll only know GML. And I I don't know about you, but I don't think I've seen any company hiring for just GML. They're hiring for things like, you know, Java and C Sharp and, you know, other languages. But yeah, this is just basic platformer physics. Now, you can do lots of things with this, but just take my advice. This code is very helpful for beginners, uh, such as myself. I'm not too good with Game Maker. I'm a beginner with Game Maker. And yeah, I really hope that you enjoyed this. And just to prove that we can jump on this little platform, let's just move it down. And now, as you can see, we can jump on it and we can still jump. It's like I said, it's basic platform of physics and controls. Uh, so yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and expect more tutorials and speed coding and videos uh, from me. Peace.